Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, this is video number one of two of uh, my laser security system that will be um, posted on www.instructables.com. I'm entering a contest. I hope you guys like it. It features a programmable keypad featuring the LS7222, the PIC 18F1220 uh, uh, microprocessor from Microchip Technologies, 5 milliwatt laser, uh, a couple voltage regulators and a completely epic alarm. From what you can see right now there are mirrors pasted all over my doorway, uh, six to be exact, and they all bounce a my initial laser beam that comes from here to my sensor right in there. Now there's actually two sensors. Uh, one helps initiate the program. When you initiate the program you have to enter in the right code into the keypad. But on top of that what you have to do is you have to turn out the lights which is kind of neat. So it's you can arm it, turn off the lights, go to bed, then the laser turns on and the system starts scanning. At which point you can either enter the same code to disarm it, or, um, well, if you breach the laser, the, well, you're going to have one hell of an alarm. You know, you're going to know it. Uh, as well, uh, if you press one wrong care, any wrong characters in the keypad, the alarm will go off. Now, the only way to disarm it is to, to enter the arm code again, which will disarm the system and reset the system. Uh, now, you might think, well, why doesn't he just, why don't you just clip the power supply? True, I was actually thinking about putting a, uh, a voltage, uh, a battery backup on there that was not applied to the laser. So, if you did that, laser power to the laser would be cut off, but power to the rest of the system would be still enabled, at which point the alarm would go off. But, this was just uh, something I threw together as fast as I could for, for uh, this Instructables contest. So, uh, there's a lot more to the algorithm. I'm really putting a lot of effort into detailing the uh, electronic aspect of the hardware and the software and the test algorithm. There's a lot more to it. There's a, uh, a lot into programming the uh, different codes into the keypad, but a lot of that you can just find on the data sheet. But check me out at www.instructables.com. You'll really see a good, uh, well-documented uh, description of how this works. So, to actually line up lasers, what I have to do is uh, the laser is enabled and disabled using the chip, but there's also a manual switch here that turns on the laser. Now, without that, I'd be screwed because it's taken me quite a long time to align the mirrors. But uh, anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an, uh, I'm going to change the camera view, show you the mirrors, and then we're going to do a demonstration. Okay, so here's our laser facing directly out. Uh, we need the laser to end up on this photoresistor. So you obviously can't see it from there, but anyway, uh, let's scroll and I'll show you the mirrors I have lacing the wall. So, laser starts here, goes across to this mirror, which bounces down to this mirror, which bounces down to this mirror, which bounces into this mirror, to this mirror, to this mirror, and then back to the laser diode. Now, <laughs> trust me, it took about as long to align these mirrors than it did to build the damn thing. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's all work. It's all worked out. So once I once I turn the system on, I enter the code. It'll give me a three beep um, alarm from the little piezo buzzer saying, "Okay, the code's been activated. As soon as you turn out the lights, the laser the laser will turn on and the system will start scanning." So enter the code. Beep beep beep. Turn off the light. The top laser diode that's or a photoresistor that's that's facing the ceiling uh, indicates, "Uh oh, lights have turned off." I think 8B. From there, laser turns on, and uh, if the laser is not actually touching, if the laser is not hitting the main laser sensor, the photoresistor circuit, then what will happen is the piezo will just keep beeping until the laser is actually hitting it. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm going to realign the circuit so we don't have to waste any of your time. But there is, uh, that is a bit of a fail-safe if the system starts and the laser does not, the sensor does not detect the laser. So what happens is at that point, the only way to turn it off is to, in this case, I guess, unplug it. You'd have to be pretty quick because this area isn't closed off and you'd have to be able to find a way of reaching through these lasers if you knew it was there and unplug the system, which you really can't very easily do. Uh, but again, I could easily, with two diodes and a battery, completely refit the system. But for a demonstration, want to get this submitted. So uh, what I'll do is now I'll give you a demonstration. The only way to turn it off is to enter the code in or press the wrong code, alarm, press or uh, break the laser alarm, at which point it'll keep alarming until you put the disarm code system resets. Let's give you a demonstration. Okay, so I've finally aligned my uh, laser to the sensing resistor, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my laser, 
I'm going to enter in my uh, code, which is 1254. Then I'm going to turn out the lights, and that's going to enable the system, at which point I will break the laser, and the alarm will go off, and I will have to turn it off using the, uh, the code. So it's going to be loud. Okay, I'm going to break the beam now. So our neighbors upstairs are kind of jerks, so I don't really care that this is pissing them off. Anyway, it really gets your heart going. It's <laughs> really loud. <laughs> anyway, the problem is with the mirrors. Let's get some lights on in here. Problem with the mirrors, especially because you're using sticky tack behind these mirrors. And sticky tack, you can push it, but it'll kind of move a little bit. So if one mirror moves a bit, you're gonna get a bunch. You're, you're gonna the the, uh, the laser is gonna go all over the place. And if laser even moves a little bit, does not hit the sensor, the system's not gonna work. So realistically, really easy just to use one mirror. But I mean, of course, any guy can just go whoop, underneath. In this case, they couldn't. I've set this thing off a, a, a bunch of times trying to evade it. But uh, what I'm gonna do is this is video one of two. I just give you a demonstration. But I'm gonna go into the electronics and the alg the system algorithm and the program in the next video. So you can actually follow along if you don't like reading along with an instructable. You can kind of watch my video. And what I'll do is I'll go through each block in the schematic from the uh, keypad, the LS7222, our two voltage regulators, the uh, two light sensing uh, circuits, and the uh, laser driver, the siren driver, and our PIC 18F1220. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. Visit Instructables.com and uh, check out the laser contest. Thanks, guys.